Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of forces. We will help you understand what causes forces, projectile motion, and bone muscle lever systems. Let's get started. A force is essentially a push or a pull and are measured in newtons. All forces are vectors as they have both magnitude and direction. When one force is stronger than another, they can cause objects to accelerate, decelerate, change direction, and change shape. Forces can be internal forces, which are generated by ourselves through muscular contractions, and external forces, which are generated outside of the body such as friction, which is a force that acts against the movement of one surface over another, such as shoes on a running track, which prevents the athlete slipping and sliding, or skis that have low forward friction, but high sideways friction. Gravity, which are forces of attraction towards the center of the earth. Ground reaction force, which is the force exerted by the ground on the body or object in contact with it such as pushing down into the ground before jumping. Also, think Newton's third law of motion. And drag or air resistance, which is a frictional force which occurs when air pushes against a moving object. Things that can affect drag include velocity, the faster the object is traveling through the fluid or air, the more resistance. Cross-sectional area, the greater the cross-sectional area, the greater the resistance. Shape, pointy objects cut through air resistance easier than flat objects. And surface, a rough surface will create more resistance than a smooth surface. Projectile motion looks at objects that are in flight. They can be our bodies flying through the air off a diving board or a javelin being launched as far as possible. The flight path of a projectile is dependent on three things. Velocity of release, height of release, and angle of release. If the release height is equal to the landing height, then the optimum release angle is 45 degrees, such as a lofted pass in football. If the release height is greater than the landing height, then the optimal release angle is less than 45 degrees, such as a shot put. And if the release height is less than the landing height, then the optimal release angle is greater than 45 degrees, such as a bunker shot in golf. A parabolic curve represents a symmetrical flight path. Near the start of the flight, there is a large upwards vertical component, but a fixed horizontal component. At the middle of the flight, there is a zero upwards component and still a fixed horizontal component, which is the same as the start. Near the end of the flight, there is a large downwards vertical component and once again, there is a fixed horizontal component. Spin is created by applying a force which is off-center to the object being thrown or kicked at the point of release. The Magnus effect applies to the spin on the ball that slows down airflow on one side of the object and speeds it up on the other side. This creates a pressure difference that causes the ball to move. Internal and external forces can interact together to help create movement through bone muscle lever systems. This is a relationship between the skeletal and muscular system to move rigid bars or levers that move around a fixed point, a fulcrum, when force is applied or effort. A first class lever is load, fulcrum, effort, such as a pair of scissors or lifting your head up from your chest. A second class lever is fulcrum, load, effort, such as a wheelbarrow or standing on tiptoe. And third class levers, which are load, effort, fulcrum, such as a pair of tweezers or a bicep curl. 
thanks for watching if you liked what you saw then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now you can also find us on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science see you soon